Hello everyone, this is Collins of Megabytes and welcome to my channel! Today we are going to talk about the hot pot culture in Taiwan. Hot pot is less of a dish than it is an experience. You team up with a group of friends to cook a concoction of ingredients, thinly sliced meats, mushrooms, seafoods, cabbages, noodles, and more in a single pot of simmering, seasoned broth on a burner on your table. Once cooked to your liking, you dip it in the sauce and eat. There are many variations of hot pot, but the original which introduced it thousands of years ago is the Mongolian Empire. It was adopted by Northern China, Korea, Japan, Taiwan, and Vietnam. There are three basic components to hot pot. Broth, dipping ingredients, and the sauce. The most popular broths are Japanese shabu shabu, kombu, sukiyaki, miso, and Taiwanese mala, herbal medicine, pork bone, milk, seafood, and Korean kimchi. Dipping ingredients are usually thin sliced meats, meatballs, vegetables, noodles, fish bowls, dumplings, tofu, seafood, and rice cakes. There are varieties of sauce. Some shops might even offer a DIY station for you to mix and create your own choice of sauce. There are a few things to keep in mind as you dig in. Cook the ingredients gradually and pace it to your eating speed. Different food have different cooking time. Thin slices of meat will overcook and become tough if boiled longer than 10 seconds. If you're not sure about your cooking skills, just invite a knowledgeable friend who can take the lead. Hot pot is very much a communal, social meal, so respect the commons. Sharing is the name of the game, unless you're having individual small pot. Another important thing to the Taiwanese hot pot culture is the desserts. Cakes drinks and ice creams mm. you can taste all you want but eat all you can inside the store don't take it home okay from january till december it's always hot pot season in taiwan the act of eating hot pot requires diners to communicate interact learn to trust and take comfort from one another hot pot is not always about the broth Dry pot is another option when the weather is hot or if you don't like your clothes to smell like the broth. It uses similar flavors and ingredients that you'd find in hot pot, but it's cooked dry with spices. It's a more modern dish created to introduce a quicker way to dine. Okay, so we're going to ask Filipinos in Taiwan about their preference. First, we're going to introduce them. Hi guys! Masayang buhay po sa inyong lahat dyan. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Chi Explorer. Hi! Good day! My name is Michelle Palmares. I have a YouTube channel which is Pay Me TV. Yo! What's up mga ka Jordan? Aking YouTube channel, Hector Jordan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel! Yes! <laughs> so, do you like hot pot? Why? Yes, I really like hot pot because here in Taiwan, hot pot is a healthy food of Taiwanese. Beside of delicious flavor on it, fresh vegetable, you can cook by your own. That's why. Here in Taiwan, it has a cold season and it's when it's hot I, when it's cold you need hot so i prepared and i love eating hot pot dish when it's cold <laughs> because it gives you warm and comfort and ang sagot ko ay uh, masarap siya lalo na pag malamig yan sarap humigop ng sabaw at saka yung mga nilalagay niya yung mga beef mga seafood sobrang sarap yan and which hot pot flavor do you prefer? I prepare and I love to eat seafood Taiwanese style because 
here in Taiwan, seafood is really fresh, the vegetable, and Taiwanese style is good for my taste. That's why. Well, I prepared sukiyaki because I've never traced that one. Yeah. And well, the sukiyaki and the shabu shabu. Sukiyaki is fully fully cook while the shabu shabu just need to swish swish it and eat it that's the reason why it called shabu shabu because swish swish and the sukiyaki is fully cooked and i want fully cooked and not what raw ingredients you know so taiwan siempre ang pinaka gusto ko ay yung shabu shabu dito sa taiwan the best lalo na yung seafood sa yung beef Yan. Tapos merong mga limited na rice, tapos ice cream, panalong panalo. Yan. So mas prepared ko yung Taiwanese style dahil nga sa mas mura na siya. Kasi sa pagkakaintindi ko, pag Japanese style kasi, sa mga bupay bupay lang siya. So kailangan mo pang gumasos ng mahal doon and may oras doon eh. So hindi mo, kung mabilis kang kumain at malakas kang kumain, so may enjoy mo yun. Pero kung talagang nagkikrave ka lang dun sa mga sabaw, sa ganyan, sa hot pot lang mismo, mas okay na sa akin yung Taiwanese style. Lalong lalo na pag seafood na may gatas o yung tinatawag na high shen nyonai, mas tumpak na tumpak at talagang kabog na kabog, <laughs> kabog, na kabog talaga yung lasa. Nagkikrave tuloy ako dun sa, ano, sa high shen nyonai o dun sa tinatawag na seafood milk. Yan. So yun lang yung sagot ko. So sana nag-enjoy kayo sa sagot ko. <laughs> Thank you very much, G Explorer, Fami TV, Hector Jordan, and Ron Doroteo for your response. They are very good bloggers here in Taiwan. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe at the channel because they have very interesting and fun contents. Okay, so if you like my videos, also please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to get the latest update. Yan. Subscribe niya po yung aking YouTube channel, Hector Jordan. Yan. And then dito lang, yan. Shout out po sa lahat ng mga subscribers ni Nekobite. Subscribe niya po. At support na rin po yung aking YouTube channel, Hector Jordan. Yo, what's up mga ka Jordan? Bye bye! And thank you for asking me, um, Tadja Hao, and have a good day.